Hi guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to increase security on your cPanel server by installing the config server firewall and malware detection software. I will also show you how to change the default SSH port, create a wheel user and disable direct root SSH access. We will be working via the command line for the majority of this video, after which we will switch to WHM to enable and configure the firewall. So first, log into your server via SSH's root. Once logged in, the first thing we are going to do is download the install files using the wget command. So let's download config server firewall first. wget configserver.com forward slash free forward slash csf dot dgz. You can find this link in the description of this video. Once complete, let's download Maldate. We now have to unzip the files before we can access the installer. We will use the tar command as follows. tar minus xvzf csf dot dgz I will quickly cover the options we use with the tar command. Dash x means to extract the files. Dash v is for verbose, in other words, show us the extraction progress. Dash z is to specify a gzip file. We know that our files are in gzip format as they end with gz. Dash f specifies the archive or tar file. Let's also extract maldet. tar xvzf and the maldetect current file. Now that we have both files extracted, we can proceed with the installation. We will start with the firewall. Enter the CSF directory. Now simply type sh install.sh. That's it, the installation completed successfully. Now let's do the same for maldetect. You first need to enter the maldet directory. So you can type cd space dot dot forward slash maldetect and then the version. The dot dot is to go back one directory then enter the maldet directory at the same time. The current version of maldet is 1.4.2 so keep that in mind, as the version might be different when you do your installation. We will use the same command to install maldet, which is sh install.sh. Now that both programs are installed, we need to configure them. We will first configure maldet and do some other work via SSH and then switch to WHM to enable and configure the firewall. To configure maldet, we need to access the configuration file which is located at sport/usr forward/local forward/maldetect forward/conf.maldet. So let's access that. Use your favorite editor to open the file. Mine is VI. There are a couple of settings in the configuration that we need to set. The first is to enable email alerts when there is a malware hit. Let's set the email alert to 1. Next we need to specify the email address for the alerts. Enter the email address where you would like the alerts to be delivered to.
The last setting that I like to set is to quarantine any malware hits automatically. To do this, set the quar underscore hits option to 1. All done. We can now save and exit the file. Finally, we can run the monitor command on the directory that we want Maldate to monitor for malware. On cPanel servers, this would be the website files of all the user accounts. We will use the following command. maldate -m forward slash home forward slash question mark forward slash public underscore html. The question mark is a wildcard so it can scan and monitor all the users in the home directory. Note that this process might take a while depending on the number of accounts on your server. If you have a large amount of accounts it is best to run this command during off peak hours as it will increase the load on your server. I won't be running the monitor command because I don't have any accounts set up on this demo server. Before running the monitor command, you might want to do a full scan of all website files first to ensure that there are no malware present. The scan command is maldet a forward slash home forward slash question mark again for the wildcard forward slash public underscore HTML. I won't run a full scan in this video as there are no actual accounts present. Again, it is best to run the scan command during off-peak hours. That's it guys, Maldate is now installed. Before we access WHM to enable the firewall, I want to show you how to change the default SSH port from 22, create a wheel user and disable direct root login. It is very important to change the default SSH port from 22 to something else to minimize brute force attacks on your server. By disabling direct root access, you make it very difficult for would-be attackers to access your server via SSH. First we need to create a wheel user, which we will use to access SSH going forward. We will create the user and assign it to the wheel group at the same time. So let's use the following command. user add minus g wheel wheel triple nine. Wheel triple nine is just a demo user that we can use. You can set it up as any name. The dash g is to assign the user to the group called wheel. Your wheel user is now created and we need to create a password for this user. So type password wheel triple nine. Enter the new password and confirm. All right, okay, all, all done. done. We will now we will open, now the, open SSH the SSH configuration, configuration file. file. I, will I will use VI, VI again. again. So VI, so VI forward slash etc, forward slash SSH, etc, forward slash SSH, SSH, SSH D underscore config, forward slash SSH D underscore config, which is your SSH config file. First, we will change the default port. Look for the port section and uncomment the line by removing the hash. Now change the port to something else. I will just use double two double three for this tutorial. Next we will deny direct root access. Scroll down to permit root login option and uncomment the line and change the option to no. Finally, we need to specify the user who will be able to access the server. Scroll down all the way to the bottom of the file and enter a new line. Then add allow users wheel triple nine or whatever the name of your wheel user is. Now 
Note that the A and the U is in capital letters. That's it. We can now save and exit the file. To apply the changes, restart the SSH service by typing service sshd restart. Let's test to see if everything is working correctly. Exit the existing SSH session, then open a new one using port 22. You should get a refuse message, which means that our port change worked. Now try again and use the new port you specified. You should see the login screen, which means that the port change worked. Let's first try and log in as root. You'll see the access denied error and that tells us that root is not allowed to log in. Now let's try our wheel user. You should now be logged in as the wheel user, which means that everything is working as it should. Remember, the wheel user doesn't have root access, so once logged in as wheel, we want to change to root by using the su command. Now enter your root password. Well done! Your server is now much better protected against brute force attacks. All that is left to do is to enable the firewall. We will do this via the Webhost Manager or WHM. Log into WHM as root. Remember, this is not SSH, so we will still log in as root. Once logged in, type firewall in the search box. Then click the config server security and firewall link. You will see that the firewall is currently in test mode. To change the settings, click on the firewall configuration button. To enable the firewall, Change the testing option to zero, which means disabled. We now need to allow our new SSH port in the firewall. Scroll down until you see the TCP in section. Remove port 22 from the list as SSH is no longer accessed via this port. At the end, add your new SSH port, in my case, double two double three. There are many settings in the firewall and I recommend that you familiarize yourself with these. Scroll down all the way and click the change button to save your changes. You will be prompted that the firewall will restart, so click the restart CSF and LFD button. Your cPanel server is now protected and we are all done. Remember, no server is unhackable. If a hacker really wanted to access your server, they would find a way. Things like installing a firewall and restricting SSH access will just make it harder for would-be attackers to access your server. Always ensure that your kernel, as well as other software on the server, is up to date. That concludes this video tutorial and my short cPanel WHM installation and configuration video series. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please let me know in the comment section. I will be releasing many more cPanel, Linux and other tech videos weekly, so please subscribe to my channel to be notified.